We are working with a premise that a cultural building is co-joined with the tower and um, we are making an ensemble also in relationship to the High Line. And what the High Line also brings in the plaza uh, to the north is an elevated condition. And part of what makes it really interesting is the, the adjacencies, the fact that it is a complex piece with a cultural component at the base and visibility to the High Line, visibility access below the High Line, visibility from the park. And I think that weaving it together to be part of the city was much more interesting than the idea of a kind of independent tower that didn't have any context with the city or the, the sort of culture around it. I think in the end, the hope is that these uh, areas start to bleed together. New York is a very regional place. And the best neighborhoods are the ones that are, um, the ones that, that are not homogenous. So to the extent the planning has been done to make this very much a part of what's going on around it, and those edges are, are really taken advantage of, it's going to be exciting. It was inevitable that eventually, you know, because New York real estate is so uh, expensive and precious and limited, um, that, that this site would ultimately be a site of a new development. Uh, and so we're happy that we can um, have a bit to say about its future and, uh, and contribute it in a significant way. But it's, it's exciting and promising and will be a, a, you know, hopefully a great new found public space for the city.